guys, it's Housewife in Heels, and I'm going to be unboxing my latest pair of Louboutins, but before I do that, I just wanted to thank everyone who subscribed to my Patreon. I really appreciate all of you. The support over there has been very exciting because I did not think I would get that much interest in it, so thank you all for subscribing, and if you're not subscribed already, I would strongly encourage you to go and do that because it helps support the channel so that way I can show you guys more shoes, more information about shoes, and we can all just enjoy more together. But for the time being, I went to the Louboutin outlet and I got to have a little bit of fun trying some stuff on for my patrons on there, but you guys will see what I ultimately purchased right here, so we're going to get into it. So I got very, very lucky at the outlet, and I found a very popular shoe that Louboutin has been shelling out lately. They're called the Speak -a Queen, and I got these little puppies for a little over $600, and these are typically an $1,100 shoe. So that was a very lucky find for me. And I was a little bit hesitant about going and getting a plexi pump because I've said before, I believe in my Junkito Rossi video, that I am a bit apprehensive about biting the bullet on spending so much money on a pump that is not going to be like a classic or something that will have value and wearability over time. But when I saw these, I thought, oh my goodness, they're so pretty that I just, when I tried them on, I had to do it. I had to take the plunge. So here is the first one. Let me get it outside of the, not outside of the packaging. Let's get the packaging out of it so you can kind of see the full effect. So... Here is the shoe. Do you see all the little crystals in the toe box? It just creates this sort of starburst effect around your foot when you're wearing it. It's super, super pretty. Now, these are also a little bit different for me because typically I would never go for a color like this, sort of a pinky red. I got sort of a dusty rose out of it, me personally. I'm not sure how well that's gonna show up on camera, but super, super pretty. And when I saw this shoe, I thought of two things, Valentine's Day and my mother, because <laughs> she does want me to venture more into pinks, and I've told her, mother, if I am ever wearing pink, then something is wrong, but no fear, Mumsy. You know when I called you that I was debating on actually getting pink, and I did it, so be happy. <laughs> but she was really happy about these. She helped me make the decision since I was torn between two shoes. And like most people, I can really only afford one pair of Louboutins at the time. So she likes glitter, so ultimately it was the glittery ones. But if you are watching this and you are concerned about sizing, if you're interested in this particular shoe, then typically for a Louboutin, say a, a regular leather pump, I would go down a half size to a 35 and a half. Most people go up a half size, but I have very, very narrow feet. But for these, since these are not leather, they're plexi, they're not a very malleable material at all. They're not going to have a whole lot of give to them. They're not going to stretch out or conform to the foot. I had to stay to my true to size. My true to size is a 36. These I went 36. For someone with an average size foot, you're, depending on the width of your foot, you're gonna wanna go up a half size if you're on the smaller end of average to a whole size if you're on the wider end of average. If you have a wider foot and you just have your heart set on these little puppies, then you're gonna wanna go up probably one and a half sizes, which is crazy, but that's just the way that ship wants to sail when you're dealing with a plexi pump. But now I will go ahead and show you the other one. Or how about I move this out of the way so that way I can have it on display and have it look all pretty. Like a good influencer, right? So here is the other one. Obviously it's not a wild amount different from the other one. 
and I'll let you take a gander at the other one. Look how pretty, and I never go for pinks. But even just wearing them with something like this, the pink and the leather, I can, not leather, leopard, I can, <laughs> I can kind of get behind it. So thanks mom for having influence on my style. She'll be really happy to hear that, I promise. She watches this. So these I managed to actually get a really good deal on. And if you're someone who kind of wants to know how to save a little bit of money here and there on things like Louboutin, something that I noticed when I went and tried these on is that one of these shoes was the sample, the one that was on display, the one that a bunch of people had tried on. And you could see a little bit of wear, not a crazy amount of wear, but just enough to where the shoe didn't look quite brand new. And I try to keep eyeballs on those sorts of things because if I can get a discount, honey, I will. So this was no exception. I went and spoke to the sales associate there that was helping me. And I said, you know, I really, really like these shoes. However, I know that these puppies have been on display for a while because let's be real, I come here a lot. <laughs> and on top of that, I can see the wear and tear. You can see it for yourself. And she did, lo and behold, she agreed with me and she said, you know what, we're going to give you an extra 10% off these puppies. Now at the outlet, they typically go 40% off from the retail. But with these, I got 50% off. So that was a screaming deal for me. And I actually found these new on Nordstrom. They're still selling them at retail for $1,100. And these are new. They've only been worn by people trying them on. And let's face it, they're gonna get wear and tear when I wear them, let's, let's be honest. But yeah, brand new, obviously the, the red sole is intact. It looks clean, it doesn't look like it's been worn to bits. And these just look absolutely delicious to me. So I thought I'd have to try it. They sort of kind of remind me of a very happy, sort of childlike bubblegum cheer, if that, that's a good way to describe this kind of shoe. So when I look at them, I get happy thoughts. But other than that, I think that will about do it for this unboxing. I will surely get into the try on for you guys because you have to see how pretty they are on the feet. They are absolutely beautiful, like chef's kiss of shoes. But I just wanted to thank everyone for subscribing to my Patreon. If you're not already, please check that out. It is only $3 a month. I put all my try-on footage there. I will do little clips where I go shopping and trying stuff on there. You guys will get to see sneak peeks of what I do unbox on the channel. And you can have the opportunity to interact with me and give me ideas. One person actually did give me a really good idea. So I will collaborate with you guys on there if you take the time and reach out to me on there. But other than that, thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate all of you who are subscribed, who like my videos, and I will get into the try-on, and hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as I do. Bye!